naked eye. <laughs> In the UK, of course. It's now the 6th of February, 2013, and I'm at the bottom of my garden, and I'm just about to go into my greenhouse. The greenhouse is a, a very small one, a 6 by 6 by 6. And here I've laid out the beds with the hot wires to incubate and heat up the soil. There is a control, a thermostat control. And uh, there's a thermometer. And uh, the temperature, you may not be able to see it properly there, but it's just about 6 degrees Celsius at the moment. These are other pads. They're heat beds. And I shall now, very shortly, be laying all my, planting all my seeds. These seeds I've grown over many years and collected my favourite collection. Okay, next video, hopefully you're going to see all, all the soil. And then, hopefully, thereafter, all the seedlings popping through and eventually being repotted. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There is a, a sensor that uh, goes back to the thermostat control. Because we don't want to overeat the soil, do we? We don't want to cook our chilies before they're even grown. <laughs> As you can see, I'm using good quality uh, compost. And uh, there's one tray already for me to start seeding shortly. I haven't quite done that one yet. Let's get a new bag. Okay, uh, now ready to go and uh, get some seeds and mark them out. Okay, I've now typed up a sheet, a list of uh, labels and uh, what the contents. I've laid out all the tags. They're all numbered because I'm growing quite a few different types of chilies and uh, obviously want to be able to identify them as they come through so that I can plant them appropriately and uh, well when they're all seeded uh, quite a few different types of seeds there I have noticed actually because uh, of these seeds, well all of the seeds actually I've grown myself at some time or another but I noticed a couple of the packs weren't so good this year so some of these rows may not come through. Anyway time will tell. Well it's now the 19th of May 2013 and as you can see all the seedlings are all come through. In fact I've already taken up a lot of the seedlings and transported them into pots and planted some fresh more new seeds. The last three months of Willad here in the UK has been shocking the weather wise. It's been freezing cold, snow and I just really don't know how we've, I've got this all to grow but okay it's uh, perhaps because of the little magic box <laughs> that heats up the soil. I've set up all my pots outside the garden all ready to put the seedlings in. Well, now we are the 10th of June, and as you can see, all the chilies are in. There they go. Three different types of chilies I've got there. Now I'm going to show you greenhouse. So I've repotted. As you can see a lot of these now. Well it's now the 25th of July and as you can see that thing is growing quite nicely. In fact we've had one of the best Julys I think nearly on record of glorious sunshine, a whole month of glorious sunshine. And uh, in fact I'm just going away sailing for three weeks so I've had to set up my pots in trays as you can see and them trays are fitted onto a drip system that uh, will drip water into the trays 
and in fact there's an overflow which as you can see although any overflow would do any harm inside the, the greenhouse anyway and the drips and uh, the drip actually uh, comes on a couple of times a day and fills it up it's all on a timer so I can go away now for three weeks I'll leave the greenhouse door open for a nice long sailing holiday and knowing that they'll be fine when I come back the chilies in the garden in the pots they're uh, coming along very well also I do like the, uh, the drip system that I've fitted on a timer because I never have to water anything and I can set it for as much water as I want as you can see there's all pots all the way along and I just go away and leave them fantastic well it's now the 23rd of August and uh, since then since the last video I've uh, taken all these plants out of the greenhouse and de-leafed them <laughs> in other words I've cut off all the leaves and left behind just the chilies uh, because there's so many crammed in such a small place that it's blocking out the sun <laughs> hopefully it's gonna do them some good uh, you can see that uh, cause I go away a lot on holidays actually and uh, so I I've got this on a drip system for the water into them trays and capillary action then will cause suck the water up through the bottom of the tubs but they seem to come along very nicely anyway I'll show you the ones outside the greenhouse there they all are the ones outside the greenhouse and uh, there sure is a lot of leaves on them as you can see <laughs> but underneath them leaves there's some lovely big chilies you can see them or not they're all coming along very nicely no that's a, that's a hanging basket of tomatoes well it's now the 16th of September and it's harvesting time I've uh, had a pretty good crop uh, so far as you can see there's a uh, loads of chilies there and there's loads more coming through we'll see all the green ones all gradually turning red it's now the last week of September 2013 and these are the seeds that I've now arranged for next year as you can see they're all numbered these are my favourite actually that's my favourite one number one well it's now the 12th of October and we're getting to the end of uh, the growing season although I'm saying that there's still plenty on there that are all green ones at the moment, all growing red I've just picked them it's about the fifth or sixth picking of bowls I've had that, that size so far there's still loads on there as well these are the plants that are outside as you can see I've picked all the red ones it's now the 18th of October 2013 and I'm now going to take all these plants out and clean the greenhouse ready for the winter I've had all most of the crop off of these plants as you can see but it's, it's still just a couple on there that can still put in the freezer well it's now Sunday the 20th of October and as you can see I've now cleared out all the chilies and prepared the greenhouse really for winter however however I've cleared all them bins as well but I have left some outside I don't know because I've had such a good crop I really don't need these ones but uh, I'm just going to see how long they can really last before the frost starts coming in here we have some chilies hanging up to dry them round ones that's the first time I've uh, tried to dry them this year I don't know how they're going to turn out but uh, all the other ones them long ones there they they'll dry beautifully then they'll be ground up into a very fine type of powder so I can use through the year looks quite nice ah it's my grandson <laughs> doing his study for his entrance exams to university Eton of course family tradition yes 
fridge in the kitchen has got an enormous amount of uh, chilies in. All the red ones which I picked uh, a few weeks ago. You can see some at the bottom there. We've also got another fridge under the stairs. It's got a lot of chilies in as well. Nice way of running out of space. <laughs> Where I'm going to hang these chilies. These are all the green ones. That's the first year also that I've uh, going to try drying green ones. There's an uh, enormous amount here, as you can see. It's the freezer under the stairs. And uh, give you an example. There's my favourite ones around once. 